Hello, assalamu alaikum everybody. Uh, let me introduce myself briefly. So uh, my name is Amin Kharraqi, PhD candidate researcher second year at uh, University of Ismail of Meknes. Uh, also, I am a data engineer at uh, Capgemini Casablanca, Morocco. And I'm here today to speak about uh, something that is very important and related to uh, the intelligent transportation system with the computer vision. So uh, our subject today is uh, traffic scene semantic segmentation by using several deep convolutional neural networks. Uh, before I start, I would like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak here today in front of you. Uh, also, I would like to uh, express my very, very deepest appreciation to my uh, supervisor, Professor Wazdan Raja, uh, for uh, their help and their support. Uh, thank you all. And now let's have a look at the outline. So uh, firstly, we will start with an introduction after we move to uh, the context, then uh, problem position after we will introduce the methodology. After that, we show the result. And finally, uh, we have the conclusion. And now uh, let's start uh, with the, the introduction. So uh, as we can see in the figure and uh, due to the rapid rise uh, in number of cars and uh, other type uh, of vehicle, on the road, ITS or the Intelligent Transportation System recently attracted a lot of attention in research topics. Uh, indeed, uh, the Intelligent Transportation System application aid the traffic uh, flow by completing visual tasks like uh, or uh, that a computer or uh, an intelligent system is capable of. Uh, in addition, uh, the deep learning uh, and the neural networks uh, have recently been used in computer vision in, uh, and especially in the semantic segmentation, classification, uh, detection, etc. So the semantic segmentation tasks uh, task is one of the complex tasks of the computer vision, uh, the purpose of which is to classify and divide the, the, uh, an entire image into several parts. Uh, so. In the next acts, we will introduce uh, briefly uh, computer vision, CNN, uh, ITS, to put uh, ourselves uh, in the context. So the Intelligent Transportation System, or uh, the ITS. The ITS is an advanced application uh, that aims uh, to provide innovative services relating to uh, the different modes of uh, transport and traffic management. Uh, also, uh, the ITS uh, enable users to be better informed and make uh, safer, smarter of use uh, transport uh, networks. And the main application of uh, the ITS uh, is the self-driving cars. And now uh, let's uh, define uh, together uh, the computer vision. So uh, the computer vision is an important field of uh, the artificial intelligence and uh, it uh, involves extracting, analyzing, and automatically understanding uh, useful information from a single image or a series uh, of images. Uh, computer vision, vision or a CV is uh, concerned with the, the, the theory behind artificial system that extract information from images. Uh, so a CV consists uh, of uh, several tasks like uh, the image segmentation, image classification, object detection, etc. And in our case, we will use the, the, sem the semantic segmentation. So, uh, in the slide, we will uh, define the semantic segmentation, as we can see in the figure. So, uh, the semantic segmentation is an important task in computer vision, and uh, it is the process of uh, partitioning a digital image into uh, multiple segments or classes. The goal uh, of uh, the main goal of uh, the semantic segmentation is to simplify and change uh, the representation of an images into uh, something that is more meaningful and uh, easier to to analyze. Uh, so the image present uh, an, an, uh, an example of uh, the semantic segmentation. And uh, in the, this example, we have uh, uh, 19 classes or objects. Uh, each class is presented by a color, as uh, indicated uh, in the image. For example, we have uh, the the building is uh, represented by, uh, by gray. Uh, trees are represented by uh, color green etc. So the final objective of uh, the semantic segmentation is to divide the, and know each object in the whole image. And now, now let's have a look at uh, the convolutional neural network. So the, the convolutional neural network or CNN are a type of artificial neural network used in 
especially in the image recognition and processing, uh, and uh, specifically designed to process uh, pixel data. So uh, a powerful uh, the, the, the CNN are a powerful artificial uh, intelligence image processing system that use uh, the deep learning uh, to perform uh, both generative and uh, descriptive tasks, uh, such as uh, image and video recognition. And recently, uh, the CNN uh, are widely used in the semantic segmentation task. So, the main limitation in, uh, in our use case or in these tasks is to achieve a good precision and accuracy on a medium uh, data set. Because when we talk about some uh, deep learning treatment, we have to make sure on, uh, to make sure on uh, the generalization of models. Therefore, we need to use an efficient model, uh, CNN models, with a good precision using a big uh, data set. Uh, and the most of related work uh, don't achieve a uh, good precision on uh, on the short uh, time training. Thus, uh, and uh, in this regards, uh, we use uh, two uh, famous uh, models uh, that are FCN and DeepLab with a different uh, backbone that are ResNet 15 and ResNet 101 uh, in order to find the best uh, combination that uh, has not been used before in this uh, data set. And uh, we also uh, use the, the data augmentation technique. Uh, te uh, technique. Uh, and the, all this uh, suggestion, suggestion help us uh, to achieve in a good result. And uh, in our experiment, we have greatly increased the accuracy and the precision percentage compared to uh, the baseline or uh, the baseline model or uh, the related work. Uh, and now uh, we move to the methodology. In this axis, uh, we present the data set, the metrics, uh, the workflow, and uh, the proposed combination uh, CNN. So we start with uh, the data set. Uh, we, we use the, the mini city uh, data set, uh, is a data set provided in a semantic segmentation challenge, uh, challenge competition in uh, 200, uh, 220. Uh, this data set contains uh, 500 images between a train uh, validation and test. Also, it contains uh, uh, 19 uh, classes such as building, tree, sky, road, cyclist, uh, pedestrian, etc. Uh, and all these classes are used for uh, the semantic segmentation, of course. So, uh, in addition, the mini city data set can be used by uh, machines uh, that don't have uh, great uh, performance. Uh, concerning the evaluation metrics, the two uh, standard metrics uh, used in uh, the road scene semantic segmentation are uh, the mean intersection of reunion and the accuracy. For the mean intersection of reunion, uh, it represents uh, the precision in our case, and uh, it compares the pixel of the generated output and the pixel of the RGB masks provided in training. Uh, also, the accuracy is a famous metric, and uh, it is more uh, it is used more in the classification uh, task. So, in this figure, uh, we show uh, the workflow of uh, semantic segmentation uh, for uh, the traffic scene. Uh, first, we browse the image with their RGB correspondence from the mini city dataset. Then we apply uh, some pre-processing, such as resizing the images and the data augmentation. Uh, after that, we, we divide the training, validation, and the, the test part after preparing the data. And uh, we train our proposed combination between uh, CNN models and the backbones on the on the prepared data set. And finally, we generated the evaluation score and the test. So let's define together uh, the, the data augmentation uh, concept. So uh, the data augmentation uh, concept is a data analysis uh, technique uh, that, uh, that is used to increase the amount of data by adding uh, slightly modified copies of already existing data or newly created uh, synthetic data from uh, existing uh, data. Uh, enact uh, as a regularization and help uh, help us to reduce uh, the overfitting when the training uh, machine learning or a deep learning models. Uh, so, in the example illustrated in the figure, we can see that uh, we have two image. The first one contains the bus uh, class, which uh, doesn't exist in the second image. The principle of uh, the cut mix technique or uh, of the data augmentation technique is to copy this class 
in our case we have the bus uh, and pass it in the other image so that the model can learn uh, the instance several times uh, ultimately when we apply the data augmentation uh, or uh, the process of copy and paste of classes into different image it feel it feels uh, good for the model to adapt well and uh, become familiar with the classes when uh, we have a lack of data uh, so this slide presents the, the combination that we made uh, between uh, CNN models. So uh, this slide uh, showed the proposed combination model that we used in our experiment. First, we used the FCN, the uh, we, we used the FCN and DPLAB models, which are already predefined in Keras and uh, TensorFlow library. Uh, and we tried to make a combination, combination between different backbones, in particular the ResNet 15 and ResNet 101. However, we didn't use the uh, previously trained models. There are a predefined, not a pre-trained. So after presenting the methodology used in our experiment, uh, in particular the used data set, uh, metrics, uh, workflow, uh, the proposed combination in uh, CNN uh, models. This table presents our results and some relevant uh, work on many city challenge uh, competition data sets. Uh, in, uh, in the report of Richard results, we notice that our proposed, uh, our proposed uh, CNN combination performed excellently in, term of, uh, in terms of uh, mean intersection of reunion and uh, the accuracy. Uh, thus, uh, we can say that the proposed combination uh, that uh, we made are more appropriate for this topic and uh, for this data set and the traffic scene uh, semantic segmentation application. So, uh, the last part uh, consists of uh, testing uh, all the implemented uh, models on validation image done in associated works. After uh, training and compiling each model on the mini city da data set, we generated the evaluation score. For each model, and uh, we per, uh, for each model, and uh, we performed them on the validation part of the data set. Uh, this figure shows uh, some example of traffic scene semantic segmentation image, and generally the results were uh, very close in all the implemented models. And uh, in order to select the most efficient models, and we can uh, we can see that the predicted images are clear and uh, and uh, are look like the ground truth and now we'll let's move to the conclusion and uh, uh, as a conclusion and uh, what i'm trying to say uh, we have per performed uh, a comparative study using a famous uh, cnn networks in particular uh, the deep lab and the fcn based in, on uh, two uh, different backbones uh, that are ResNet 15 and ResNet 101. Beside and due to uh, the problem of the small uh, data amount, we used the, the data augmentation technique to increase uh, the data by creating a new instance in a different image. Uh, later, we performed simulation on uh, each model and we noticed that, that uh, the used model have exceeded uh, uh, the existing works uh, result in terms of mean intersection of reunion and accuracy and as a perspective uh, we plan to uh, and we are looking forward to uh, improve the accuracy score and the mean intersection of reunion score we also plan to implement another models that can be performed well in real-time application and uh, thank you for your attention <laughs>